Okay, so this problem is asking us to sketch the graph of a function with the following properties. The key thing to understand about these problems is we're just sketching. It doesn't need to be perfect. And the next thing is that there's infinitely many solutions. So you just have to get a little creative. So what I'm going to do, how I would attack this problem, is by saying, okay, I'm going to take care of this first because it's kind of specific. It's saying at the x value of 2, I need to have a derivative that is equal to 0. So what does that mean if the derivative is equal to 0? Well, it means the slope of the tangent line is equal to 0. So it might look like that. Um, in, in the other the other idea I may run into is it might look like that. Um, so we have to ask ourselves which would fit the other quality. Well, since my graph has to be concave up everywhere, this graph here would be concave down. So that's no good. So let's So we go back to here. So this graph here is concave up for that portion. And now the other requirement is it has to be concave up for everywhere. So if I just kind of stick arrows on it, there we go. My graph is concave up for the entire graph. And the first derivative is equal to 0 at x equals 2. So the before you move on, though, I want you to say, OK, as you're going through studying for your test, you need to keep this problem in mind and say, what other things have we talked about? What other vocabulary words am I supposed to know that I may need I could use the same idea. So for example, what if instead of talking about first derivative equals to zero, what if I said it was increasing from, oh, I don't know, or over the interval of um, three to seven, but it was decreasing from seven to eight, Okay, so then you got to start thinking about, all right, how would I draw that? You know, if it was increasing, that means the graph's going up. If it's decreasing, that means the graph is going down. So you have to think about how could I create a graph where now it's concave up everywhere, but it is increasing from 3 to 7. Uh, so there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so this graph right now is fitting that idea. It's increasing from 3 to 7, but now I need it to be decreasing from 7 to 8. Um, so what I can do, let me cheat here, I apologize, let me stick a open circle on the end of it. So it's a function, which just means for every input there needs to be an, an output. So if it's decreasing, but I still need to be concave up, there we go, there's 8 and there's 7. Yeah, part of my just thinking out loud here. And there we go. So you see, I have now sketched a graph that has all these qualities. Not only is it concave up everywhere, it is also a, because, and you might be saying, how is this concave up? Well, if you imagine I'm curving around, I'm tending to uphill. If I were to continue the shape, it looks like it would continue going like that. So it would be concave up. Um, it's concave up everywhere. The first derivative is equal to 0 at 2, and it is increasing from 3 to 7 and decreasing from 7 to 8. And there you go. And it is a function, because for every one input, I only have one out output. There is no overlap. Okay, so just kind of keep these problems in mind as you're going through. Listen to vocabulary words and say, if, if I was told a graph would do have a specific quality, um, could I draw a graph that had that quality? Okay, best of luck.